T rules is a lot like T filter row, except you get to record a reason code and a reason message along with your rejected output. You can also enter your rules using a JavaScript like syntax called Jexel. Now, this spreadsheet contains some invalid records that don't have email address and they'll be removed. We'll also filter out international addresses. Start off by dragging the T rules component from the palette onto the canvas. Using the main from the input, add that to T rules. And then T rules has two outgoing connections one for filter, which will go to a log row, and one for rejects that'll go to a file. Configuring the T rules component, now we get to pick a reason code and a reason message. And how we do that is this there's a filter schema and a reject schema that are both based on the input. But with the reject schema, I have the opportunity to define two extra columns, reason code and reason message. And they can be called whatever you want. You're adding them in this uh, screen here. And then I will use, uh, for the file output delimited component, the sync columns button. And in the T rules component, then select my reason code, which is one of the two columns I just created, and the reason message. Rules for the T rules component, you'll add Java expressions, and then with each Java expression, you'll pair a reason code and a reason message with that. Offline, I have two expressions saved. The first expression is making sure that there's a, an email that's sent in with the records. I'll use a numeric scheme for my reason codes. And the second one, I'm going to select only US addresses. Now, T rules is using a Java like syntax called Jexel. And you'll notice here that I'm using single quotes. And I'm also not using the equals operator, which is common in Java. You always want to be careful that when you're doing string comparison, you have the right, uh, right operator. OK, so both of those are set. And my reason code and message are set. And I'm ready to run. I'll spread this out a little bit more so we can see the accounting. Should have 29 rows came in, 23 went out to the log, which is the um, uh, the good condition, and the reject condition took six records, and that went out to a file. This is the rejects file with reason code and message at the end. Thank you.